presence. One of my ministries as a deacon has always been the uh, hospital ministry at St. James Mercy Hospital. And I've been doing that for um, about 35 years. And as chaplains on call, we are on call 24 hours uh, a day, seven days a week. So Lord God, we ask for your healing and loving graces to be upon Julia as she faces the surgery that she's going to face here. In times of tragedy, in times of trauma, in times of sickness, in times of illness, and particularly in times of transitioning from this life to eternal life, um, it's important to have a faith to help you through those difficult times. I think it begins with a spiritual healing um, that touches the psyche of the person and touches the very um, soul of the person. And when we leave it to the will of God, that helps the person to understand that it is in the hands of the Lord and that it is in the hands of God, that if a physical healing is something that, that God wills, then that will take place. But the spiritual healing helps them to understand that that may not be something that may occur. And it helps them to deal with that and helps them to understand better and to accept what will happen. I've been privy to people who have had a great faith and people who have had little faith. And I know that um, it's very difficult for people who have very little faith to deal with those traumatic situations or to deal with a sudden death or to even deal with death itself, as opposed to people who have a faith and understand that God will take care of them or that um, everything will be okay. I got called to the hospital once for a woman who... Uh, she was in her 90s, and um, she, she called me, the hospital called me, and I was called to her room, and she, I held her hand, and, and she turned to me, and, and she said, De Deacon Bob, will you teach me how to die? And uh, even though she was in her 90s, she just couldn't release and didn't, was afraid of death and afraid of dying. And um, she didn't quite have the <clears throat> understanding somehow that God was, would take care of her. And she didn't quite uh, have the this, this spiritual um, necessity of, of, uh, of understanding that. So she said, she said, will you teach me how to die? And I was taken aback at first, but then I... I I explained to her that uh, God was there to take care of her husband when he had died a few years earlier, and that God would take care of her. And then we prayed the Lord's Prayer, and then I read to her the scripture, um, the Lord is my shepherd, Psalm 23. And then as I read that, she closed her eyes and she, she passed. Uh, and um, there was an understanding there, I think, that all was well and that she would be at peace.